real quick. Uh, for some reason, my tripod bouncing a little bit. Uh, anyways, wanted to go over uh, the uh, you know pre a little bit earlier. I talked about the three in one uh, post scan transducer on the boat. It has uh, your normal echo, which is your 83 and 200 uh, kilohertz, and then it's got chirp and it's got the side scan, down scan. And I call um, side scan is basically your structure scan. Um, Lawrence has the trademark on the structure scan, um, which in a roundabout way, the Simrad that I run, it's basically structure scan too. It's uh, Simrad and Lawrence are owned by the same parent company. So uh, with that being said, um, showed a little bit on the, the, the unit. But I wanted, I went on Lawrence's website and I wanted to help illustrate what uh, the different frequencies do. And as you can see, you think of it as a cone. Now the 83 has got you a 60 degree cone and it's going to give you kind of a wider area and then the 200 degree is going to be a more confined cone. Now if you look at it in these uh, see one's deeper than another and then the, your relative depth because 83 is such a slow bandwidth it's going to penetrate deeper in the water column your 200 uh, degree or 200 kilohertz is going to be a smaller cone is actually going to be able to take and here, here it is from basically a top down and allow you to kind of dial in on a spot now up here is your chirp and as you can see your chirp is kind of this elongated green mark here and <clears throat> Your 80, or excuse me, your 800 kilohertz and your 455 are going to be in that same range. There, it's not going to penetrate as deep in the water column, but it's going to give you a better. Um, you're not going to have as much noise, and when you get the basically the reflection back, uh, it's actually going to be on the fish. Uh, and then up here, this 45 degree cone is a little bit higher. That's your down scan. Um, if you're looking straight, you know, pretty much down on something with, uh, you know, on, on the down scan, it's going to give you a, a tighter cone, a better picture in this range. But as you can see. Relatively speaking, and hopefully you can see this, it's not going to be uh, projecting down in the water as much as the 83 kilohertz. Now, your structure scan and side scan runs off 455. That's why um, you can't run chirp and structure scan or down scan at the same because they're running off of this 455 kilohertz. But as you can see, it comes off the bottom and misses out. There's, there's a blind spot just below. And a lot of times, that's why you got to run your down scan and your side scan at the same time. But it does this whole side there. And as you can see, it's real elongated right there and that's why I was talking about in your motor position that's why you want to tilt your motor up just a little bit so it can project out to the side now on the sonar unit when we showed the down scan pretty much take your piece of paper and you see how I folded it and basically this is what it's going to look like you're going to have the line down the middle of your plotter and as your or excuse me your sonar or echo as you're going along it's going to you know per, um, I, I guess as your travel direction is going to feed from top to bottom but Basically, the water column or your depth is going to be in this area right here, and then when it touches the bottom, it's going to project down on the bottom. So basically, as you get deeper, this blind zone right here gets further and further out, and that's why um, you got to be running the down scan at the same time because you can see things. I mean, it'll show up. You'll have different reflections in that column, but it takes a little while to get used to, where it's just a whole lot easier to look on the next screen. If something looks funny, look at it on the next screen. But that being said. Um, that's why I say about 60 feet of water or less this works real good because this basically this blind spot is really confined to a smaller column of water and because the expanse of the ocean gets further out you lose a lot of the intensity of that sky the, that structure scan or side scan so I hope this helps um, with this quick tip um, got any questions feel free to comment below uh, this chart right here like I said I, I labeled up you can find this on the Lawrence website that's where I got it from uh, if you want to kind of study it a little hard, uh, a little bit more but uh, it's good knowledge to know and it helps you set up for the fish so with that being said I hope this helps you catch more fish uh, it's something that I've learned I felt like I needed to share um, and we'll catch you ne next time keep on fishing